Hello everyone, and welcome to 404 to the World, a spin-off series of Remarkable Legends where I briefly cover the history of an engine numbered 404 in 4 minutes and 4 seconds. This episode of 404 to the World will feature a railroad that later became part of a recent fallen flag when it's purchased by CSX, that being Pan Am Railways, as we'll be reviewing one of the many engines of the main central. This railroad's 404 was part of a common class of GEU boats on the railroad as it would serve the various industries along the Guilford system, and later a little-known tourist railroad. So with that said, here is a brief history of Main Central 404. The story of this 404 starts in the mid-1970s, where the Main Central already has a considerable number of EMD GP38s for their main and branch lines. Although, the railroad still needed new power to replace their aging Alco RS3s and RS11s, especially now that spare parts could become rare due to Alco shutting down. But as Alco left the market, General Electric was quick to fill the void by continuing their Universal series, with some models being made especially for non-switcher branch line service. One of the last models in this series was the U18B, with U for Universal, 18 for 1800 horsepower, and B for the B-B wheel arrangement, as the Seaboard Coastline purchased the most of these engines with a grand total of 105 units. Main Central eventually ordered a total of 10 units in 1975 from a cancelled Seaboard Coastline batch, as they were given dynamic braking and EMD Blomberg trucks. Since these units were purchased close to America's Bicentennial, Main Central called the U18B, or Baby Boat, the Independence Class, as they gave them eagles on their front noses, and named their engines after notables involved in the Revolutionary War, with 404 being built in May of 1975, and named after Kenneth Roberts, an author who wrote several novels on the war. The MEC assigned 404 and its sister U18Bs to the Mountain Division between Portland, Maine and St. Johnsbury, Vermont, as the U18s often ran in pairs or with other EMDs to handle increased pulpo traffic. However, the U18B class didn't have the best reputation, as they were known to be underpowered and have some maintenance issues, and many railroads weren't interested in non-switching branch line engines anymore. Despite this, 404 and the U18s continued to serve the main central and even led them to purchase second-hand U23s and U25s in 1980. Just a year later, the MEC merged with the Boston and Maine to create the Guilford system, as 404 was one of a few U18 beasts to be repainted into the black and orange Guilford livery, with Main Central lettering in 1985. Eventually, when the rest of the U18s were retired by the late 90s, 404 and 407 were released by Guilford to a small tourist road named the Niagara in Western New York, later the Falls Road Railroad, where they ran between Lockport and Medina, New York for the single 2002 season, until they were sold to Rail Trust Equipment Incorporated in Montreal where they sat in stores before being scrapped sometime in the mid-2010s. Even though this 404 has a rather sad ending, it still managed to spend 25 great years on the largest regional railroad in New England as a reliable and well-recorded engine of the main central. Thank you all for watching this episode of 404 of the World. Since the main central was a fallen flag that lasted for over a century, it also had a steam engine on its roster numbered 404, specifically an 02 class 460. However, there isn't a lot of information on the railroad's first 404, other than likely running on mixed train on various branch lines like many other 10 wheelers at the time, and Main Central's second 404 has a much more interesting and well-documented history. Not only was this engine one of the first road freight GEs for the railroad, but it also managed to spend some time helping a small short line in Taurus Road in upstate New York. Thank you again for watching, credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.